Hey guys, it's Tiffany. Today, I'm going to show you how to work with variables and expressions. Variables and expressions. When using variables and expressions, you want to remember to plug in the value of the variable, then evaluate the expression. And you're going to have to make sure you follow the order of operations when it's needed. Let's look at example number one. I have t plus seven and t equals two. All I need to do is rewrite my problem and instead of writing t, I'm gonna write the value that they told me t is, which they told me it's two. So instead of writing t plus seven, I'm gonna write two plus seven. And that's a really easy problem now. Two plus seven is nine. So we're just gonna write nine. So the answer to example number one is nine. Let's move on to example number two. Example number two. Again, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna enter my value for my variable instead of rewriting the problem with the variable. So I have 11 plus four, and that gives me 15. So the answer to example number two is 15. Let's move on to example number three. Example number three is slightly more complicated because we have two steps. We're gonna rewrite this whole problem. Instead of writing T, we're gonna put a three in. Let's do it. Two. I'm going to um, write my three inside of parentheses. This is going to make it a little more clear for me if I were to write them touching each other it would look like a 23 so I want to make sure this is not 23 plus 1 when I have a variable that has a coefficient in front of it and they're touching that means you need to multiply those two numbers together so um, I want to make sure that I remember that these numbers need to be multiplied so I'm putting parentheses around them I could put a multiplication sign in between but as you get more advanced in your math, you're going to notice that you're going to see less multiplication signs. And a lot of that has to do with the fact that you're going to see a whole ton of variables. Um, letter Variables, remember, are the letters T, P, whatever letter your book is using. And a lot of times the variable that your book uses or any worksheet or anything you're on is going to be the variable X. So it's going to be confusing when you're seeing a multiplication sign and a variable of X. So just for clarification, I'm going to use parentheses, and you're going to see less multiplication represented as an X at this point, just throughout math in general. Okay, now I need to remember my order of operations, and if you remember, in order of operations, you're going to multiply before you add. So I'm going to multiply my 2 and my 3 first, I get 6, and then I'm going to add this 1, and now I have 7. So. The answer to example number three is seven. Let's move on to example number four. Example number four. This one's even slightly more difficult than example number three because we have an exponent. So again, I'm just gonna rewrite this whole problem except for this T. I'm gonna replace it with a three. So I have five my parentheses are three and I'm actually gonna put my two right here inside my parentheses this time and that's just to remind myself that I need to work with that exponent first before I multiply here because if you remember using order of operations you're gonna work with your parentheses first then any exponent you have then multiplication and division then addition and subtraction so we need to make sure we raise this 3 to the second power first before we multiply that answer by 5. So 3 to the second power is 9. So this becomes 9. So this becomes 5 times 9 plus 6. 5 times 9 is 45 plus 6. That's 51. And as you can see, each step of the way, I rewrote my problem again, only solving the portion that I was on. So this first time, 
all I did was plug in the 3 for the T. The next time, all I did was solve my 3 to the second power and get my 9. The next time, I solved and got 45, so I just rewrote that part, and everything else remains the same, except for the part that you just solved. That was my last example. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, don't forget to click like, then head over to supereasymath.com for more math tutorials, printable video notes, worksheets, and more.